already started sorting out things in this space we are going to be getting a lot done today so if you need some motivation this is definitely the video for you so if you are new here this is my six-year-old son's room he rarely sleeps in here but we are going to change that and to get myself motivated i'm going to sip my coffee because i'm going to need as much motivation as possible honestly at this point it doesn't do anything for me but whatever to make me think that that is how i was able to power through this is what i'm going to think so to start off i just like i said i just went ahead and started sorting out everything and pretty much i'm just going through all of the little miscellaneous like toys that he has accumulated over the past like couple of like holidays such as like easter and stuff like that um he did play with them for some time but then he was pretty much over them he is a very specific kid he is like more outdoorsy he likes to like go outdoors and find bugs and um also play basketball and also um loves his beyblades so if it is not any of those things he loses interest pretty quickly which is totally normal but um i'd rather just go through this stuff and just get rid of anything and everything he no longer plays with So once I pretty much sorted out everything on the main floor area, I turned my focus on over into his closet. It wasn't that bad because I have already kind of reorganized in this space so it wasn't too bad. It was just kind of revamping this bottom area here that I'm working on and just figuring out if these toys were worth keeping or not. Um, there was a part that I need to edit out because I did have to call him in here to see if he wanted to keep like some Hot Wheels and stuff like that. But my kid is always in his underwear, so I don't think that would really be appropriate and I didn't want to get flagged. So I edited that part out, but he said he wanted to keep all of his Hot Wheels, which is completely fine. The thing with the Hot Wheels is like he's an on and off with those, so I totally get it. Um, but I'm just going to go through this stuff down here at the bottom of this shelf and um, get this all reorganized and put away. So if you've watched any of my previous videos, you see that I come in here quite a bit and do this to his room. Every time I come in here, I'm always finding things to get rid of or like donate um, because I like to make sure that we are not keeping things that haven't been touched in a while. And like I mentioned earlier, my kid is a very specific kid to the things that he likes to do and play with. So there's no point in really keeping all of these things. So I kind of keep them, I guess, in a rotation, um, but not to the point where I'm packing them up and moving them into a different space. I just kind of observe how he plays with the stuff that he does have. And if he hasn't played with something um, in a while, then I will, kindly ask him if he wants to continue to keep it or if he's ready to donate it. I do let him um, kind of guide me to what needs to be donated or tossed because there's nothing like someone tossing out your things and not speaking to you th with you about them. So I try to respect that boundary with him and making sure he is part of that process. But I am always in here just um, refreshing and just making sure we're not keeping things that could be used for by someone else. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on this side. This is all pretty much sorted out over here. As you've seen, I just got done taking care of the closet and sorting and separating his Beyblades from his Hot Wheels. 
I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down really quick using this cream furniture polish spray from the Dollar Tree. And the closet is pretty much organized for the most part. I may go through that again. I don't even think I'm gonna need anything. I just wanna see what's in there. I may even just put it outside just to see if anybody else wants it or just donate it um, to like the Goodwill or something or like a local thrift store or something um, in the area. But the closet is pretty much done. Like I said, this is all sorted out. I'm going to be washing and um, changing out the comforters and getting rid of, I think, this comforter here because it's just, it's kind of thick. Um, and plus he doesn't sleep in this room. And then I'm just going to kind of neutralize this room i am for sure going to go ahead and paint this here so i'm going to also be moving everything out of the drawers it's not much and then taking that into the garage to get that painted so that it'll be done by the end of today and then of course we have the laundry that we're going to be putting away i'm not going to even i'm just going to kind of move that to the side because we're not going to be touching that as of yet because like i said this is going to be going outside to get painted um in regards to the water guns i'm going to keep the water guns and stuff for now being that we are going into summertime but after summer I'll probably get rid of them and then replace them next year and my oldest one one of my older ones has been having a ball with him and his friends with all the water guns right now so I don't want to get rid of anything just in case he needs to bring back up um <laughs> to kind of have their water fights um so yeah that's gonna just get like re kind of reorganized over there I still have to go through the books but funny thing is we actually just installed his lighting in his room and I've been in the dark since the beginning of this video but I have my ring light and um, my camera um, and the flash on my phone but I'm like why is it still so dark but that is why so hopefully that helps with the lighting when I'm in this room now but I completely forgot because usually the switch in his room is for the TV and I have the TV going, getting my cleaning motivation. And um, yeah, and I totally forgot. But yes, we installed lighting in here when we did. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I just, um, well, not just me, but we just um, installed lighting over in my room, which is like right here. Um Excuse the bed i gotta make my bed but we just did lighting in the room so yeah so that same day my husband went ahead and did the lighting in his room we still have to do the other boys' room and also we're going to be doing the living room as well so i just thought that was so funny because i'm like there's something missing that i'm not using in this room and here we are it's the doggone light so i'm gonna continue with my cleaning um, like I said, I'm just going to focus on this side and get this moved out. So my focus for today was not this laundry whatsoever. I got to that later on, I think like the next day or something like that, but it did get done. But I just pretty much just moved this to the opposite side of the room because that's where his laundry basket is going to go anyways. And then I came back to the side of the room and just sorted through these two crates. These two crates were actually in his closet, but since they um, needed to come down for the installation of the light, I figured since they were down here, I might as well just kind of go through them really quick. I thought I was um, gonna get more um, to donate out of these crates, but then he came in and was like, what are you doing? And so a lot of this stuff ended up getting um, kept in these crates but there were a few items that I was able to weasel out of here and be able to put in the donate pile but um, it was more so like the monster trucks and stuff like that that he liked to play with in the bathtub. Once I was finished sorting through the crates as much as possible and getting rid of what I could, I went ahead and just focused my attention over to this bookshelf area. So pretty much these are my deep freezer um, racks that we didn't want to use in there anymore because they didn't really hold much so it was kind of pointless. So I went ahead and installed them in here and it worked perfectly for a just corner bookshelf and i'm just going to go through some of these books that we have read forward and backwards 
and um, then just keep the ones that we're still working on with him. We are really trying to focus on getting him to read. He enjoys reading and he likes like bedtime stories and stuff like that, which is really nice. I know my two older kids, they weren't really fond of reading. So finally having a kiddo who actually enjoys it is nice. Um, we'll have him read during breakfast time or in the evenings or um, like sometimes uh, dad will be folding laundry and he'll have him read to him when he's doing that. So we're always trying to keep him reading, especially that um, with him being so engaged in it. So he's been working really, really hard. So I'm just gonna go through these, pick out some ones that I know um, for sure he would be interested in reading. And I'm gonna go ahead and um, straighten up these water guns because they are all over the place. Another thing I really enjoy doing in my son's room is making sure that we have his artwork up for display. I love the fact that he enjoys it as well. The older that he's getting, he also looks forward to having his artwork up on the wall. So when he brings it home, I pretty much just kind of collect it. I try to keep it in rotation as much as possible. But um, as we parents know, a lot of papers do come home. So I try to sort out his very best ones um, and I usually do ask him like which ones he would like to keep and which ones are okay to discard so the ones that we keep I usually keep in like a little pile and then when I am going in his room and cleaning it and reorganizing it I like to rotate the um, pictures out and also just kind of talk about why he chose certain colors or which one he liked the best or um, just it's just a nice little conversational piece i've been doing this since he was little and he really enjoys it so here i'm just taking some fabuloso in my spray bottle and i'm just spraying that onto the floor and onto the baseboards and i'm just using my o cedar mop just to get it nice and clean i do not like moving the bunk bed out too often because we do have real wood floors in this house and I don't want to scratch them up so being that I was going to be moving out the bunk beds I just went ahead and used my O cedar mop to just tackle the baseboards and get those nice and clean So here I am just putting all of his stuffed animals and plushies back into this toy bin that I made. So pretty much this is one of those like two to three tier stack like with the drawer. Um, I will try to insert a picture but all I did was took a piece of fabric that I had lying around and I just wrapped it and hot glue gunned the edges and it made for a perfect toy bin so i'm just putting all of his plushies back in here because it keeps them out of sight out of mind i don't have to see them all over the place and plus i didn't want them on the bed so as i told you guys earlier in the video i was going to be putting led lights up in his room he has been wanting led lights in his room for the longest his older brother has always had them so he has been wanting them ever since then so i thought that this was a perfect opportunity because i was kind of over them being in our kitchen these actually were originally in our master bedroom however they are kind of broken because now they are like every other color so i figured for a kid's room they should be perfect and he was really happy with how it all turned out i want to get um another strip of them just so that it goes all the way around the room, but I like the way that it looks so far. So I wanted to quickly show you guys what it looked like once I was done putting it up and as you see the every other color, he didn't care, he absolutely loved it and it worked perfectly for this space. 
When I tell you guys my brain was literally everywhere, I was supposed to take care of these water guns a long time ago and I didn't get around to it. I actually took a break and that's when the idea of me taking the LED lights out of my kitchen and bringing them in here came about. So that's just my brain and that's just how it works. Okay, so now we are finally getting these water guns organized and back on the wall where they belong. Like I said, my brain was all over the place in this video. So finally, I am now getting all the stuff from underneath the bed because I know I'm going to need to move that out. And I just didn't want to have the hassle of just kind of like, you know, toppling all that stuff over. So I might as well have just went through it. So I just quickly did that. And then I just kind of swept everything to the furthest wall here. And then I'm going to move out the bunk bed and start switching out the linens. Like I said, I do not move out the bunk beds often. So once they are pretty much in place, they stay there. So I took this opportunity while I had it moved out to go ahead and tackle the baseboards with my Fabuloso in this spray bottle quickly and just wipe it down with my O Cedar Mop really quick just so that it was done just so that i wasn't just moving it out and leaving it there because that would have really been pointless and really lazy of me so i went ahead and got that all done i did the rest of the baseboards i didn't um show that but i did the entire room and got that all done and then once i was done with that then i started on the bed So the sheet set that my son has is Mario and it's a little oversized for these mattresses because these were actually customized for our old house but they do fit on these bunk beds but being that these are a little oversized for these mattresses I was just showing you guys some clips that I like to use to just hold the sheets in place and that really helps especially with putting this at the top so I am switching him to the top bunk because he has been wanting to be on the top bunk for forever but um yeah just to hold the sheet in place i'm just using some clips really quick and um then you'll see how i just kind of use them to kind of tuck the rest of it in and also it makes it easier to hold the flat sheet once i put that on So here I am just undoing the flat sheet here and as I mentioned this is um, Mario and Luigi. We are really into that right now especially with the new movie that just came out. Um, but here I am just putting that flat sheet on the bed and you'll see that I have to get on underneath um, on the bottom bunk and tuck it in and give it a nice cleaner look. I did go back and tuck that back part in, but I just wanted to sh make sure that I showed you guys exactly what I was talking about when it comes down to um, why I use the clips and how easy it is to make the bed. Okay, so we are almost there, you guys. Um, this is everything that I do have left. It's like, wait, it didn't look like that before. No, it didn't. But it does right now because I stripped the beds and I changed the comforters and the sheets and everything on those. And then this really big stuffed animal here, I'll probably just end up sitting over there in the corner or sitting on top of there. I don't want to go back on the bed. I just don't like the look. To finish putting everything else away, I had to take a quick break because I have been dealing with this insane migraine for the last... Um, 
few days so i need to stop and eat and hydrate a bit and the cutest thing ever you guys so when i was in as i was in here cleaning my son my six-year-old he came in here he was watching youtube and nothing really pulls him away from youtube usually um but he loves basketball that is his heart and soul and he comes in here and he randomly wants to get dressed, which is something that we usually have to battle with him with because he likes to stay around in his underwear <laughs> most of the time when he's in the house. Um, so he comes in here and he's like, I need some clothes. Oh, and I need my shoes. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I thought he was just gonna go and sit on the couch and just be dressed for the day. But no, I took my break and I was eating and I heard the ball bouncing and he was actually outside practicing at basketball that's going to be starting up really really soon and so we've been trying to encourage him to just like practice and stuff like that so it was a proud mommy moment just to see him being out there by himself not needing our help not needing us to tell him to do it and um, I just sat and watched him in the garage I didn't interrupt him at all until he finally realized I was there and he's just like hi mom and once he's seen I was there I just exit stage left and came back and now we are back in the room i'm gonna finish tackling the rest of this stuff here everything is pretty much sorted some stuff got toppled over like the laundry but we weren't going to be tackling that anyways and then i still need to just move his dresser out into the garage to get that painted that's not going to take long to dry at all same paint that we used on our bed frame in our bedroom during our bedroom makeover so it'll be dry within the next hour or so. And I think I'm gonna do a little something different, but you guys will definitely see it when I'm all done. So let's just go ahead and finish up this room so that we can get that painted and you guys can see the final look. So being that I like to rotate his artwork out, I also like to keep it as well, but I just keep it in this little bin that I got from the 99 cent store. And here is just where I store it so I can just slide it underneath the bed um, right now. But there was an app that I did actually have on my old phone that I don't have on my new phone. And um, as soon as I figure out which app it was, I will let you guys know. I'll try to remember to put it in the description box. If it's not there, just um, comment down below if you're interested on what app it was. But pretty much with the app, you take photos of all of the all of your kids' artworks and you can turn it into a book. So I just think that's the better route to go because we are starting to accumulate a lot of art pieces and I wanna keep those memories forever, but just not the actual project. So as soon as I find the app, I will definitely let you guys know. We are finally getting there. We are at the home stretch. I'm just going to quickly mop the floor really quick and then we are going to move this dresser out into the garage so that we can paint it finally when you guys see the dresser you guys are gonna be like oh my goodness that is so nice at least i hope you guys are because i absolutely love it but i will admit the process to get it where it got to was a headache you guys but um yeah, I love the end result of it. I should have went with my first mind, but I was trying to be creative. I didn't show, but I did have to go to Home Depot because um, I ran out of spray paint. Um, and then I wanted to let my son decide what colors he wanted to do. And it wasn't the fact of the colors. It was just me being impatient with the drying time and I messed it up. It was user error and it took me so long to finally um get this dresser painted but it got done and i absolutely love how it turned out so he had initially wanted blue and red with gold handles um i attempted it and it was a complete fail but i ended up just going solid blue and gold handles and it is perfect so that is the whole spill on the dresser process. 
and yeah it got done though it took me like i said much longer than i anticipated i was so frustrated with this dresser you guys um i did post over on my instagram the photo of the dresser so if you do not follow me over there please go over to instagram and follow me um i am on my stories um quite a bit i haven't been recently because i just haven't been feeling all that great but um i'll be back on instagram but still follow me over there so you can kind of get some like behind the scenes stuff and just the regular day-to-day -day shenanigans and if you are not yet subscribed and you are enjoying this video so far then please consider subscribing to my channel i would love to have you this is the kind of stuff that i love to do i love to do like diys around the house and you know just revamp the space affordably and give you guys the cleaning motivation that you may need so if that is the type of content that you guys enjoy then make sure you're subscribed click that bell click all so that you don't miss any uploads so i finally made it out into the garage and the color paint that i am using is called napoleon um and it's a beautiful beautiful blue color and i started off with the idea that i was just going to paint it blue anyways but like i said we went to home depot and mines were changed so i wanted to give it a shot but um yeah it did not turn out the way that i wanted to i taped it off just fine um but like i said it was a user error and my impatience that screwed up the project but it happens you know it's like it's a do it's a diy a do it yourself you're gonna do some that are gonna turn out great the first time and some that are gonna turn out terrible and this was a project that turned out absolutely terrible and it has been a while so i guess my time was due to have a really bad diy but i um ended up going back to home depot my husband went and got me some more paint as well and it turned out beautifully However, when it comes down to the handles, this was like the perfect metallic gold ever. I literally painted everything this doggone gold color, um, like in my office, throughout my office. But I loved this color and I love how the handles turned out. They turned out to be this very beautiful gold and I was really pleased with the outcome. here goes the disaster do you guys see that overspray it was hideous oh my gosh <laughs> but the disaster was fixed and here is the beautiful dresser that got repainted and turned out absolutely stunning so once his dresser was moved back into his room i just really quickly just put all his clothes back into his drawers and also made him a little media area in the top drawer for things like his tablet and his gaming console and this is what his room looked like all done so let me know what you guys think down in the comments this was a very long day so moving on to the next day it was a pretty gloomy day and as i mentioned earlier i wasn't feeling all that well so a lot of things got neglected um so we are definitely going to be needing to tackle this kitchen and get this kitchen all cleaned up along with get this laundry folded and out of the living room and just really just tidy up everything and get everything back to how it should be i totally warned you guys there's going to be plenty of cleaning motivation in this video so if you are still watching thank you so much and here we go tackling this kitchen as you guys seen it was a complete disaster but first i'm just gonna wash out my sink i don't know why it's just a habit of mine let me know if you wash out your sink before you even start doing your dishes or is it just me am i just the weird one anyways so i'm gonna first um put the dishes that are on the rack away so this rack in particular is new i did post about it over on my instagram i like it i like the fact that it does drain and it is two tier however for our shape of our um kitchen it is a bit bulky so um recently we've just started putting it with inside the sink and that has kind of 
um, lessen the amount of things that are on our countertop. So other than that, it's super functional. It holds your silverware on its own tray. It drains out into the sink. It does everything that you could want for our dish rack, but it's just a little bit big for our space. But like I said, if you put it in the sink, it's perfect. So really quickly, I am going to be like just scraping out this grease from out of this pan. This was meatloaf grease, but um, I'm just pouring this into a bag because you do not want to pour grease down your disposal. It will clog your drains. Not a good idea. So always put it into a bag um, along with things like rice as well that does not break down in your garbage disposal all that well and it will also back up your drains here in our house we have really old pipes so um if we do not do that we will have a high priced issue so we try to avoid that with everything in us to make sure that we are properly disposing things like grease and rice and grains just in general so um yeah so once i was done with that i'm just going to go ahead and pour some powder bleach into my water and then i'm also going to be uh, putting a dishwasher tablet into that pan for the from the meatloaf just and let that um soak i'm going to pour some hot water in that in just a little bit here are some straws that i recently picked up they are um some what are they lilo and stitch and buzz lightyear straws i got them from the 99 cent store for like dollar 99 i think it was per pack and they are so cute and it comes with a little brush to clean them as well so um i'm gonna stop talking i'm just gonna quickly just do these dishes and get them done and out the way wipe down the countertops and the oven and then we're gonna move on to the next area Okay, so now just taking my kettle and pouring the boiling hot water into that pan with the dishwasher tablet just to really break up some of the food and grease that are still stuck on the pan before I scrub it all out. 
and then once i've done that i'm just gonna give the countertops a quick wipe down and also the cabinets as well and i'm just gonna be using my nine elements all-purpose spray this one i picked up from the 99 cent only store and i think i mentioned in my last video i do like it but i prefer a specific scent and this is the one in the lavender scent i'm not too fond of the one in the lemon scent but it does a decent job of breaking down the grease and the grime Once I was done wiping down the stove, I just went ahead and threw in a load of laundry. There's always laundry to do here in the house, so I like to try to stay on top of it as much as possible. So that is what I am gonna do really quick, is just move one load from out of the washer into the dryer and then start a fresh one. So once I got the laundry on and started, I headed back inside and tackled our dining table. First, I just started off by just removing everything off the table, of course, and then just spraying it down with my um, car windshield wiper solution. And um, as you guys seen, there was a lot of stuck on food and fingerprints all over this table. So that definitely needed to be cleaned up. So a bit after this, I was actually called away. And so here I am um, just finishing up and I am just gonna go ahead and quickly vacuum our carpet floor. So every now and then I like to bring out what I call the granddaddy vacuum. This is our Hoover 
and it does a really great job of really sucking up all the dirt within the carpet um, the other vacuum does give a good surface cleaning but this one definitely pulls a lot more out of the carpet we do plan to get our carpets professionally cleaned along with our couches um, coming up really soon so i'll try to share that when we do but as for now this will do and i'm and i'm honestly always so shocked about how much dirt this vacuum pulls out of the carpet so um while i was over here i seen that the garbage needed to be dumped so i just went ahead and took that out and replaced the bag really quick and took that outside and then that was pretty much it you guys for today's cleaning all right you guys so that is it for today's video let me know if you guys liked it by giving this video a big thumbs up also consider subscribing it is absolutely free click that red button follow all three steps the red button the notification bell and click all so that you don't miss any future uploads follow me over on instagram as well let me know that you stuck around to the end of this video by leaving me a broom down in the comments and that will also let me know and let youtube know that you enjoyed today's video thanks again for watching I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.